Hello everyone and welcome back to Arctic Retro. It's time for another mail and donations video, the first one in uh, this year. And these are the items I uh, either purchased or uh, got donated to me from uh, December until January. Not a lot of items, a uh, couple of interesting things, uh, among others a uh, Commodore 64G. So let's take a look at it. <music> This package came from China and is sent via China Post and it says on the declaration Diagnostic Card. So let's take a look at that card. It's a kind of a <laughs> poor packaging to, to send an electronic card just in a plastic bag. And uh, there it is, it is uh, those kinds of uh, PC diagnostics cards for uh, the ISA slot on old uh, PC motherboards. So I have a little bit of uh, old PC equipment lying around. I was thinking of making a video about that and uh, then I might need this one. And I think this is a, a it's a dual one. It's about the 8-bit ISA slot and PCI. Yeah, it says ISA bus and PCI bus. And here's an additional display that you connect to this. And this is used to yeah, test the motherboard and check for post codes, error codes from um, the BIOS or uh, yeah, other things that might be wrong on the motherboard. This little package is sent from Norway, from uh, Martin, and uh, I have bought things from him before and I even got uh, some donations from him, a computer, and uh, actually what I bought from him now was just some uh, EEPROM chips and uh, he promised to send me some extras, so <laughs> yeah, we'll see what that is. Good packaging. Are these those uh, <laughs> biodegradable uh, packing packing material that you actually can eat? <laughs> I don't know. Don't want to test. So what do we got here? Let's see. Yeah, that's some uh, EEPROMs. I don't remember now what I bought actually. These are AMD 27C400 and these are from 1991. So that was not the one I actually purchased from him, so he gave me those for free. But uh, let's see here. It's like a Christmas day. <laughs> oh, these are, uh, yeah, these are the GAL PLAs or PLA GAL. These can be used instead uh, of a PLA chip on the Commodore 64. So it says there MOS 9061-1401 equivalent. It consists of these two GAL programmable chips that have been programmed to operate as a PLA chip on the C64. Okay, so these are the ones I actually purchased from him and uh, these are Winbond EEPROMs. These are uh, 27C512, that's uh, 64 kilobyte EEPROMs. It's uh, hard to read, Winbond. Yeah, 27C512. These can uh, be used in uh, cartridges you produce for uh, yeah, all types of old computers that are compatible in the Commodore 64 or uh, yeah, WIC20, you can use these, but then you need an adapter. So the last item, what's this? These are some memory chips. These are 4164s. If I remember correctly, these are the ones that are in the Commodore 64. Nice to have. And two other chips. These are 
TC514256 AP. Not really sure. I need to look up uh, what these are, but uh, yeah, probably something I have use for. All right, so that was a lot of stuff from Martin, and thanks Martin for the additional chips you sent me. Really appreciate it. All right, this package uh, came from China via DHL Express in just a matter of few days. And this is a package from my uh, sponsor, PCBWay. They sent it to me right before uh, Christmas. Nice box. Let's see what's inside. It's uh, probably <laughs> some uh, PCBs then. <laughs> All right, so here you go. This is something I got from PCB Way, and uh, yeah, these are uh, these rulers that show you the different footprints of all kinds of uh, components and uh, measurements. So these are nice to have and to use to find the correct uh, size of things. Uh, you see all these holes or the different uh, types of holes you can get through hole into your PCBs. I got four and then I got some of these uh, experiment boards or what you call it, perf boards, where you can build a little circuit uh, by soldering. Nice to have. And also some uh, Christmas uh, decoration PCB. And a little uh, Christmas tree. And they have these battery holders on the back. Let's see if I can uh, test them. I got a little battery here. All right. Nice one. <laughs> so there must be a little chip on this. Let's check out the Christmas tree. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> nice one thanks a lot PCB way this little package is a donation from a viewer and it is uh, from Tor Eirik and uh, he sent me something he has uh, actually made himself for the Commodore 64 he is uh, fiddling around with electronics uh, circuit design and uh, on a hobby basis and uh, I got all of this from him. <laughs> Not really sure what it's all about but uh, yeah, it's a lot of uh, circuit boards and uh, components that I need to build a particular device. These are very nice PCBs, looking like uh, floppy diskettes. <laughs> and what he sent me is actually this uh, XUM154012 that is uh, a device that uh, makes it easy to copy uh, floppy disks from real disks in a 1541 to a memory card uh, without the need of having um, like a Pi 1541 or something that you need to copy to a file and uh, move that file away uh, using uh, real copy software on a real Commodore 64. So I haven't really studied the details yet, but he has made this device and uh, he has a GitHub page with a lot of uh, cool uh, retro computer related projects that you can check out. I'll link to that in the description. So this is kind of cool. I'm really looking forward to checking out this. So thanks a lot for this great donation, Tor Erik. Here's a little package sent from Norway from Komplett Enno, one of Norway's largest electronics sellers. And this is a gift for myself and I paid for it. Ta-da! It's the Game & Watch The Legend of Zelda. You have probably already seen that the Nintendo is coming with these old games in uh, in the new packaging and uh, I already got the first that came out in this series, the Super Mario Bros. And uh, now they came out with this uh, 
The Legend of Zelda and I have actually never I think I never played it <laughs> the original that is so yeah I just buy this because uh, they're not very expensive and uh, I can collect so uh, I could keep it in uh, the original box but I just want to test it So I have a few of um, the really old Nintendo game and watch uh, games. For example, this one. This is an original game and watch, uh, Donkey Kong 2. Still in working condition and uh, it even has the battery lid. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, check this out a little bit. Looks very nice and uh, Exactly the same as the Mario Bros. This contains a battery, so you charge it with a USB charger. So let's see now if we can start it. Does it have any charge on? The power button is on the side. <laughs> okay. Press time button. I just want to try the game immediately. Seems to be three different uh, versions here. There you go. As I said, I don't think I have ever played Zelda, so I'm not really sure what uh, the goal is. Seems to be like a maze you walk around and uh, solve different tasks I guess find the items and uh, avoid the monsters I can't shoot anything at least not now oops <laughs> all right so uh, that's a nice little uh, toy for myself and uh, my children of course they can use it too there's a little uh, USB charger uh, or at least a cable inside there and uh, yeah, you can actually take and make this like a stand with the flipping out the, <laughs> the inner box here and uh, have it on display like that. Not gonna do that, I'm just gonna keep it in the box for now. So my goal here is actually to collect these now and uh, hopefully there will be uh, a few more and uh, <laughs> hopefully they will be worth a lot of money in the future so that when I retire I can sell this and become rich. <laughs> this package came today and I had to open it right away. It is something I bought on Finn.no, the Norwegian uh, eBay shop. <laughs> Not eBay but similar in functionality to eBay and it is uh, a Commodore, but uh, what kind of Commodore is it? Let's take a look. There is a power supply. The white brick. <laughs> There's some uh, Lego friends. Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. It's uh, cassettes. <laughs> Here's uh, two joysticks. Looks like a quick shot. Both are a quick shot pro. This is quick shot two plus. This is uh, yeah. I'm not really sure what their name is. Here's another uh, tape <laughs> recorder for the Commodore. Here's a cable, video cable. Looks like it's uh, <laughs> pretty homemade. And finally, the machine itself. And you might have already guessed it, it is a Commodore 64. However, it is a model that I don't have in my collection, so that's why I actually bought it. As you can see, this is the white Commodore 64. And it is the Commodore C64G. Let's take a look at the serial number here. C64G, 
produced in Western Germany. The machine looks to be in good shape. It's a little bit dirty, of course, and uh, yeah, keyboard is dirty. It has this label, Serad AS Electronic from Stavanger in uh, Norway, back in the day. Okay, so I paid around 80 euros for this package, machine and uh, joysticks and uh, the tape player. And the seller told me that he actually had it working for an hour. He plugged it in, played a little bit for uh, for one hour on it, and uh, then boom, it just stopped working. So uh, he doesn't know uh, why. It might be the power supply, or it might be that the power supply <laughs> killed this machine. But anyway, I'm gonna take a look at it, and uh, if it's not working, then I'm gonna fix it. So this will be a repair and a restoration video sometimes later, we'll see. I can't leave you wondering if this machine works or not, so I already hooked it up and I'm gonna test it. I have this uh, modern Keylog power supply. Let's see now, does it work? Nope, seems to be black screen, so... <laughs> okay, so now I know that. Let's see what the dead test cartridge says. Is there any life left in this machine? All right, purple picture. <laughs> That's not uh, very promising. As far as Gump says, life's a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Uh, you never know if you get fooled or not. Uh, I noticed that two of the screws are missing, so somebody has been inside this machine. Let's take a look inside and see if everything looks okay, if anything is missing. All right, so um, yeah, all the chips are there, so um, not very easy to tell what's wrong with this machine, but I'm sure I can fix it later. But I think that's it for now. I did a quick check. Um, the fuse is not blown and uh, both the voltage regulators uh, has the correct uh, voltage output. So uh, we're good to go, but uh, then it's uh, something else. It can be anything. It can be chips blown, it can be a RAM failure, <laughs> you never know. So that will be a, a repair episode of this machine later.